Hello everybody and welcome to a bit of Prehistoric Planet 2 news. So we have um, recently come upon some new images. So some new images have been revealed on um, like yeah, it's just Apple TV TV uh, Apple TV Plus Press um, showing um, episodes and images for Prehistoric Planet uh, 2. So let's get straight into them because there are a lot here and I cannot wait to see what you guys think. So, so our first images are of the Hatsigopteryx. So this is the male and the female courting on the islands. Um, the next image shows um, something that we were theorizing <clears throat> when the trailer came out where Hatsigopteryx presents the female with a dead dinosaur, as you can see there, it looks like it is perhaps as Almoxes, whether that be an adult or a juvenile. However, given its size, I think that is an adult Almoxes. The next Im image shows us a new species, and one I was really hoping was going to be in the series, Majungasaurus, the Madagascan Abelosauroid, that made an appearance in Planet Dinosaur, and it's great to see its return to like the mainstream of paleo media um well known for being a cannibal i mean i hope we don't really see that i mean that was brutal that uh, but um seeing majungasaurus is really good as we will be going to madagascar a few times in the series we have imperabata from antarctica this relative of the dromaeosaurs um yeah much bigger than velociraptor too despite it looking looking quite similar though lacking that signature sickle claw on each foot but um yeah it's just great to get an, a good look at this dinosaur as they look beautiful our next new species is cymosuchus or the pug crocodile another species from um madagascar it is a herbivorous crocodilomorph and i imagine a few people might um find this guy quite cute and I mean, I do too, but, like, <laughs> it is going to be interesting to see this guy. I wasn't expecting Simosuchus to make an appearance, but it is great to see it. We also have Adalotherium, a um, Gondwana land mammalian animal. So, one of the Cretaceous mammals and um, before the Cenozoic era. So, it's great that we're getting a bit more of the mammals in Prehistoric Planet 2. Because we saw mammals briefly in the first season. With, I think they were... Were they... No, they were Mylodon or something. They were some kind of large rodent-like animal um, in, the pre in the previous season. Being hunted by a Troodon. At least, what? Well, a Troodontid. It could, it could have been any Troodontid, to be honest. Uh, um, we see now we're on to the Badlands. So that was Islands. Now we're Badlands. We see the Velociraptor hatchling, what we theorised was a Velociraptor, and who needs more confirmation than this? We see a good variation in the adults here, so we had the grey one from last season and the brown one, which was featured in the Freshwater episode, but we had this really dark Velociraptor. I don't know if that's like a melanistic individual, or it's just got um, much dark coloration. You can see they even got variation in patterns. This dark one on the left has a white stripe that goes from above the eye down to the shoulder. The grey one um, goes, it has a much broader stripe that goes from above the eye down to the shoulder. And the one on the far right, the brown one, has a white neck. So that is a bit of variation there. Um, next we see the Isisaurus hatchling. So, Isisaurus is from India, and it seems we're going to be getting a bit of India in the Badlands episode. So, that is an egg tooth that you can see on the front. I thought it was a beak from the shot that we saw in the trailer, but no, it is the, it is the actual egg tooth. Um, we see the adults walking past a volcanic caldera like we did in the first teaser. And, like I theorised, um, they are laying their eggs in the volcanic soil to incubate them. So, um, yeah, that is a cool nod to real animals, particularly the Galapagos land iguana. 
Um, we also see Tarchia, uh, our Mongolian Ankylosaurid. That was basically the first confirmation of Season 2 when we first got its image. And we see it in the next image being um, harassed by those pesky Pranocephaly. And I'm interested to see what happens there, because the Pranocephaly aren't really too much of a threat to it, I would imagine. Another new confirmation species is Rajasaurus, the Indian Abelosaurid that was originally cut like Isosaurus from Season 1. But I'm glad that um, a few cuts from Season 1 are making it into Season 2, because they look gorgeous here. Look at that red, the yellow around um, the nasal cavities. All of that, that looks beautiful. It's good that we're getting a bit more of the Abelosaurids in this season, as Carnotaurus was our only one last season, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so we're getting Rajasaurus and we're getting Majungasaurus. The dream. <laughs> Moving on to swamps, we have Ostroraptor, our large South American dromaeosaur. Um, eating a fish, I believe. Whatever it is, it's slimy. But um, the Ostroraptor looks fantastic here with its long, long muzzle and its beautiful feathers. Like feathers look great. Feathers always look great in this se in this series. Like, yeah, this is great show. This is a great show. <laughs> um, next, we see our Rapetosaurus from Madagascar. So this is basically our return to Madagascar, and we see in the trailer one of the Rapetosaurus comes upon a Beelzebufo. And potentially we could see Mashikasaurus make a return as well. Um, now we see the Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, and you can see the different growth stages in these individuals. So the ones in the background on the far right, they look like full-grown Pachycephalosauruses as the uh, spikes on the back of the head have been reduced greatly in length. Whereas these two youngsters... Um, fighting. One of them looks more like Draco Rex and the other Stiggy Moloch. Like, this, there, there are growth stages at this point, so yeah, we can take it as that. We get a closer look at um, a more Stiggy Moloch looking Pachycephalosaurus. And moving on to oceans, the bird that was seen in the trailer is in fact Hesperornis. I am so glad I was right about this. Um, but yeah, Hesperonis is making it into the show. But um, for those who have watched Chase by Sea Monsters, that is not the only returning favourite. Zephactinus, another creature I was really hoping was going to come into the show, is here. Our large um, carnivorous fish is making its debut in Prehistoric Planet 2. And I could not be more pleased about its inclusion. Like, that is awesome. Ah, oh, we're getting everything in this one. <laughs> this is great. Um, our Antarctic Elasmosaurid, um, Mortineria. Um, yeah, I had no idea what this was in the trailer, but it turns out it is Mortineria. So, look forward to that. Um, we get a couple of shots of some different ammonites. So, these look like a very small species. This one is slightly larger. So, we're getting a bit more of the ammonites, like the scaphitids from first season and lastly we have north america where we find alamosaurus so officially confirmed to be alamosaurus the um, large sauropod of north america um, we also see the baby triceratops make its return i don't know well it's probably not the same individual from last season um, then we get this shot from the trailer of one of the opposing Triceratops is roaring towards the male with the massive horns that you can't see in this picture, but he is there. Um, we get Pactinodon, so our North American Troodontid, and um, it's babies, so they are both the same species. So while the adult hunts those um, stilt legged ducks, or long, I keep calling them stilt legged ducks, I'm not going to remember their, their actual name. But um, the long-legged ducks that we see in the first teaser and the youngsters that are harvesting bugs um, in both shots that we've seen of them. But here you can just see them side by side. And our last two images are by far the most interesting. We have Tyrannosaurus versus Quetzalcoatlus again. I mean, most interesting of North America. Because I'm really excited to see how this confrontation ends. 
Will the Quetzalcoatlus Atlas actually scare off the T Rex, or the will the Quetzal or, or, or will the T Rex um, reign victorious in this fight? We'll see. <laughs> and then we see this stare down between the T Rex and the Quetzalcoatlus. Atlas. And that is all 29 images. So yeah, we had 29 images we, to get through. There are a fair few new species. Um, I think the new species I'm most excited for are Majungasaurus, um, Zephactinus, Rajasaurus, um, perhaps, or Hesperonus. Yeah, I'm excited to see Hesperonus. Um, as well as... I mean, Pachycephalosaurus, I'm excited to see nonetheless. But yeah, there's a lot of new species um, shown with these images, and I cannot wait to see them. I would like to know your thoughts down below on what you think of these new species. And yeah, stay excited for the Prehistoric Planet 2, because it's shaping up to be a really good season. And I cannot wait. But I'll leave you with that. I will see you in the next one. Leave a like, subscribe. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.